Developers for multi-million dollar townhomes are trying to figure out what their next step is after two of their buildings collapse in Chattanooga. That accident sent one construction worker to the hospital and happened behind Spring Hill Suites off Molly Lane and Riverfront Parkway about 10 a.m. in the project known as Cameron Harbor. News Channel 9's Brianna Arredondo was one of the first reporters on the scene. She joins us now live at the site with more. Brianna? Well, these homes were in the middle of construction, and right now behind me, three of them knocked down that were affected, only one left standing. And the developers tell me that the weather caused a lot of the problems that workers experienced today. Construction workers wait after a scare on this site in Chattanooga Monday morning. An ambulance takes one worker to the hospital after two of these four townhouses collapse off Molly Lane. Cameron Harbor Homes developer Aaron White figured out the cause. When we had some heavy wind gusts come up off the river um, that partially completed structure basically functioned like a sail. It caught all of the wind. Both of those riverfront homes used to look like this. Firefighters say no one got trapped under the debris. Fortunately, when firefighters arrived, uh, all of the injured parties were already out. Out, uh, from underneath the structure. All eyes remaining on that third unstable townhouse as it leaned to one side. The city building inspector tells me that this project wasn't even due for an inspection because it was in the middle of being framed up. But now all construction has stopped until they figure out what to do with that one building in danger. This afternoon, workers moved what they could from the multi-million dollar luxury housing project. So we've instructed the crews to uh, take those homes all the way back down to the foundation. Um, we're going to start over, rebuild them. Developers and firefighters calling this an extraordinary situation. If the building looked like the one that's uh, they're, they're still standing, it's it's really um, quite amazing that uh, we didn't have more serious injuries than what we had. So uh, we're hoping that uh, the one person that was transported was not seriously injured. It could have been a lot worse. And the developer says that the one worker that was hurt did have a leg injury, and he plans to check up on his condition later on this evening. The townhomes were actually due for an inspection at the end of this week. And